Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is a protective style that I'm going to be doing on my baby girl. The purpose of this video is to just give you guys some ideas on how you can style your baby girl's hair. The snack that we are using today to keep her entertained are these Gerber arrowroot biscuits. The style that I'm going to do on her hair is some plaits in the back and then I'm going to cornrow the front. I'm going to start off by doing a horizontal parting straight across the back. And then I'm going to speed up this video just a little bit, but you're going to still be able to see everything that I'm doing. The leave-in conditioner that I'm using today is the Camille Rose Latte Define. I'm still getting a feel for this leave-in conditioner. I've only used it about three times, so I'm not sure if I'm all the way in love with it just yet, so hold off on buying it. I'm also gonna go in with my Denman brush to detangle her hair. Most of what I do in this video is just something you're gonna have to watch because it's kind of hard to explain. And a lot of the steps are going to be repetitive, but I'm gonna just start off with just some square partings. Now, when I started off this style, originally I was going to twist the back. That's why you see the twist, but I saw that the twist was just something that just wasn't gonna last a long time in her hair. So I decided to plait it instead. So I'm starting off with those square partings and then I'm just gonna do plaits all throughout the back. Say hey to Demi, y'all. She always got to turn around and make sure she looks dead in the camera. So after I did those three plaits in the back, I went ahead and separated the front section from the back section. That way I knew what I was going to plait and what I was going to cornrow. Y'all, like OMG, doing this style on an 11-month-old, for me, it was hell because she just would not sit still on this day. So just bear with me as you watch this video. You guys know how babies are. So once you separate the front from the back, you want to go ahead and start your next section. So I did that horizontal, horizontal parting again. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do those square partings and plait it up. I just wanted to jump in and say that if you've been following me and watching my videos, I always do the same things. I'll always make sure I'm working on damp hair and then I'm always detangling each section with a Denman brush. Y'all, doing this style on my baby, the struggle was so real. Sis was just not having it. She just started turning up on me when I got to the top of the back of her head. So after I finished this plait, I had to pause the video, let her take a nap, and then come back for some more action. Three hours later. We're back from her nap and she's rested. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish her hair. I'm just cornrowing the top of her hair. Guys, if you're doing cornrows on your baby, just always, always make sure that it's not too tight and always make sure you're leaving their edges out.
We are all done. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to take the Softy Herbal Grow Grease and I'm going to apply that directly to her scalp. Now the grease I stand by. I absolutely love that grease. It works wonder, wonders for her dry scalp. And I'm just going to put that all over her scalp only. That does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button if you found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.